working on the 47 today. Uh, I think today I'm going to try and figure out how to lower the motor and change the steering. Whoever put this in originally, or last, I guess, not originally, uh, made these giant brackets to hold the motor up. And the motor sits way up out of the frame, too high. And I figured out why they did this, is because this steering box See, the motor mount just about touches it. So they couldn't put this motor any lower than here without changing the steering. And they put it at a really bad angle. The engine lays back a lot. That's level ground. So you can see how bad that engine's kicked back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this steering out of here. I'm going to get rid of the steering box here completely. I'll take it off apart here and from here down I'm going to make all new. Uh, and replace these rods and everything underneath new tie rod ends and just modernize the steering quite a bit uh, and lower the motor down into the frame where it goes so here gives you a perspective this should be down here the motor sitting up about four four inches too high so I'm going to cut these brackets off here, cut these back off, and lower the motor down where I like it and just build new motor mount brackets. Uh, and then I have to figure out some way to put steering back on it. Uh, what I ended up doing is I ordered this. U, it's Unisteer, it's Unisteer uh, aftermarket rack and pinion, and it comes as this kit, it comes with the rack, it comes this section of steering, should be able to go to my column, and then down to the rack, onto here, and then new tie rods, and these are the bushings for inside of these holes. So those are the two mounting holes that mounted on the frame which I don't have. There's no frame there so I have to make something. But this essentially wound up under the car something like that but underneath. And then I just run my new steering rod to the column and then it'll clear so the problem is now I couldn't put headers on here because the steering's in the way the steering here is in the way keeping the motor way up in the air so time for a major change so cut that out figure out where this is going to be centered and then I'll have to weld a cross member in the frame down here and build the mounting holes and the little perches to mount to mount these onto that cross member I weld in. So that's gonna be a little tricky. I think I'll be able to figure it out though. So that's where we're at.
so I guess I'll get started.